Hi, Aries. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated love reading. Cheers. Now, my darlings, these are all general messages. Not everything here is going to resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. I am going to be giving you messages in multiple categories for love. I'm going to be only focusing on love in this reading. Look out for the timestamps. Also, Aries, I'm assuming, is your sun sign. What is your rising, your ascendant, your moon, your Venus? Find out those placements. Watch all those sign readings. You will get additional messages for yourself. Also, I will be following this up with a health and a career separate reading. So I'm going to be focusing on one energy at a time. So Aries, I first want to ask the universe what you do not know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a secret around you. I don't know why I feel that there's something hidden. So I'm going to start with that question first. Okay, Aries, now remember, I'm setting intentions for you throughout this reading from the start to the end. Relax, be open, believe, and you shall receive. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Let's go. Spirit, what is hidden from Aries in love? What is hidden from Aries in love? What is hidden from Aries in love? Aries, please, in love. What is hidden from them? Okay. I have your three cards, my God. Contemplation. You know, when I was shuffling, this card kind of looked at me and said, take me. I should have. Contemplation. When this card comes out, this is my hangman energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Aries. Some of you do not know that either somebody is thinking about you. I don't know why I feel like saying this. Or perhaps somebody is having second thoughts or a second perspective because, you know, the hangman energy is about trying to find another perspective to something. Now, you do not know this. I also wonder, because this is my hidden message for you, for love, the 12th house, which is Pisces, is all about hidden affairs, things which are hidden from you. So I wonder, and literally after Pisces is Aries, it is your, your 12th house. Some of you are sitting and thinking about something in a very different way. And this energy is available to you. And I also feel that somebody else doing the same. Perhaps it's another perspective that you're missing. Clear out the old. My God. This is asking, you know, this is like my death card where it's asking you to just remove stuff. And we're talking about love. I don't know what this could mean for you. I don't know if it is asking you to find a fresh perspective and clear out your old, outdated ways of thinking or to remove a real person. I mean, as in, you know, put distance between you and somebody else. You have bountiful harvest. Bountiful harvest. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you do. <laughs> this is there for you. This energy is available. And this, for me, it talks about you receiving the fruits of your labor. Some of you are stuck. I feel this energy of being stuck. You're waiting for some kind of guidance. It'll come because the 12th house, which is Pisces, you know, contemplation is also about being able to connect with the divine. It's also about sacrifice, surrender. You're surrendering something here. And this is hidden from you. Perhaps you're mirroring somebody else. They're doing the same. Let me know how this plays out. But this is what is hidden from you. So now let's start with your first general message for love. Okay. Let's see what my Lenormans have for you, Aries. Let's see. My Aries spirit. Give me clear guidance for my Aries, please. Remember, don't go by the sex of the cards, okay? Go with the energy I'm describing. Put yourself in your roles. Take what's yours. Leave the rest. It could be from somebody else, yeah? Also, if you know the zodiac sign of the person you're asking about, go to my channel, check those readings. And also the signs that come up a lot while I'm speaking. So far, it's been Pisces. Check those readings out as well. There will be some information there for you. All right, let's go. Spirit, can you give me clear guidance? First general message for love, okay? With my Lenormans for Aries. Let's go. Aries. Aries, please. That card went whoop. Okay, and there's one more. Thank you, Spirit. What else? 
Okay, Liz, oh boy. God, my cards. Divine Masculine, so number 28, if this number means anything to you. Plus there is a letter A written on it. Now this for me is somebody who's ruled by Mars. Just like you, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody who's very passionate, sexually driven, body on point. A bit macho type, um, daredevil. You know, maybe they love fast cars, everything that's fast. There's also somebody who's extremely sexually active or they're very driven by their passion. Look at all this energy here, all the red. And, you know, they're bare chested. Somebody who's very, very well put together. Their body's on point. They know that there could be a bit of an ego here. Somebody like that here. And then I have a number 15, the bear. My God. You know, the bear for me is a symbol of protection always, the mother bear. Mother bear. And, you know, it's also an, what can I say, an archetype of getting angry very quickly as a temper. Like they say, don't poke the bear. Did somebody poke this bear the wrong way? This is Mars and Aries. This is your card in this day. I'm talking to somebody who is very aggressive when they want to be and protective at the same time. This is somebody who has position of power, leadership, influence. They also have a short temper. This is like a mother figure. I don't know who this is. I don't know if both these energies are facets of one personality or there are two people here. Now, then I have a number 30. This is Chiron in Libra. Now, the lily is, sorry, Chiron in Virgo. So, so far, you have yourself, Aries. You have Pisces and now you have Virgo. Now, when this card comes out, this talks about everything that is associated with sex and pleasure. Yeah, the lily is that. It's a very deep sexual energy. But it is also the exact opposite, the Mother Mary energy, which is of um, pureness, virgin-like, virginity, morality, ethics. Are there people with different personalities here? Is there a clash of somebody who's completely, you know, vibrating from the lower vibe, you know, the lower shadow side of their Swadeshtana, which is their root, their sacral, sorry, their sacral, their Swadeshtana, which is about holds your sex organs. I mean, but it can also mean that there's a fire, you know, in your loins to achieve things in life. There's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to have sex or making love. But yeah, but when you're just vibrating from lust, you want to grab everything that moves and shakes, then you got a problem, boss. There's somebody like that here and there's somebody exactly opposite. Pure, virgin, um, moral, ethical. I don't know what's going on. And then I have number six. This is clouds. This is about having clarity. This is again Pisces. There is there is a lot of Pisces on this in this reading. There is, of course, Aries. That's you. And now I have Virgo. Pisces and Neptune. Twelfth house. This is about a secretive connection. This could also be about secrets. It could be about a about a very deep sexual connection. Could be even divine, you know, divine connection. But the clouds talks about confusion. The lower shadow side of Pisces is constantly being confused. No clarity. I don't know if somebody's confusing you about something that they're doing sexually, or you're confused by somebody's behavior. Are you questioning somebody's morals? Just putting this out there. Okay, this is about total confusion, but this is also about clarity. And I want you to channel that vibration, the higher vibration of the clouds parting is supreme clarity. Let's clarify these cards, okay? Spirit, what is this divine masculine about for Aries? This is your first general message for love. What is this divine masculine about? Okay. What is this bear? Who is this bear? What is this bear about for Aries? What is this lily about, please? For Aries, my God, your cards. Is this clouds about spirit? Okay, clouds. Now, the divine masculine has come up as a page. Look at the difference in these energies. I thought there's going to be a grown-ass man. I mean, I think this individual 
is very childish. I don't know who this is for you. And the page of cups, I mean, pages are messengers and cups, okay, is emotions. It's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Now, when this card comes out, it means that somebody is always coming at you with a little bit of love. I don't know if they're giving you a little bit to just keep you happy and keep you stuck. I don't know why I feel this. The somebody is not giving you everything. They're just giving you the little piece. I don't think there's a child here. Is there confusion about a child or a mat or what is that called? Patrimony. What? Paternity. I'm so sorry. Patrimonial. Hello. I apologize. This is an unexpected message. It's all somebody who has a crush on you or an apology. What is an immature? Like you're dealing with somebody immature. Hella immature. And you know, with the bear energy, I have the ace of wands. There is something sexual going on here. And somebody has confusion about somebody's, I don't know, sexual antics because the ace of wands is like the light bulb coming on. Um, it's fire again, Aries Leo Sag. This talks about getting clarity. This also talks about a very passion-driven person. There is some confusion. See the bear, like I said, and I said, don't poke the bear. It's almost like a stick that has poked this bear. Something is poking somebody and they're, they're having doubts. I don't know why I feel this about somebody's paternity of a child or somebody's sexual antics because this card, Ace of Wands, is somebody who's holding that wand, you know. I mean, I don't want to be vulgar and running with their passion. They're, they're driven by their lower vibe of the Swadishtana. They just want sex, man. Who is this? And they're very protective of it. Or they're very angry about it. This could be anger or protection. I don't know if there's somebody who's found out that they're dealing with someone who's dealing with the whole community as in sexually. And I don't know if this individual was pure and virginal. I don't know what this is talking about. There's something about children, about somebody's sexual habits. And somebody's hella mad. They are mad as AF. Because, I mean, like I said, don't poke the bear. Somebody poked that bear with this freaking wand. I mean, in a bad way. And then with the lily, I have the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. You know, I think somebody fooled somebody into believing that they're very pure and virginal. Purer than driven snow. And they were somebody's wish fulfillment. Now, this is also a card. Somebody drinking a lot. Somebody partying a lot. There is a falseness going on in this in this reading. Somebody is not telling you what they are. They're not putting you up to speed as to what they really are. They're just a page. Look, if you come here for a confirmation that there's somebody who is trying to keep you stuck with small little offers, you know, enough to keep you there. And if you've come to ask me if they're showing you what they really are, sorry to say I don't think so. I don't think so. They have other plans. They're not as pure as they're telling you they are. I don't know if this is about drinking, partying, you know, sexual, a lot of sexual energy here that they can't resist. There's an age difference here. Somebody is very childish as well. It's a very passionate connection. Somebody has a lot of ego because the Aries card, you know, your higher vibration is, you know, being the boss, being the emperor, the CEO, you know, all the low vibration is arrogance to Aries. And the bear is Aries, Mars and Aries, that too. Somebody's wish fulfillment is today under, what is that word, under duress. They thought this would be their wishful. I know somebody thought that they are dealing with someone who's very sweet, very virginal and kind, and they will never figure out what they're doing. They thought this was their wish fulfillment. I don't think it turned out like that. There's going to be clarity though, because with the clouds, okay, the Pisces and Neptune, I have the Ten of Cups. This is a marriage. Because when the Ten of Cups comes out, from the nine, you go to the ten. Look, I'll give you a message here, which I'm getting as well, that some of you may find out that the person you doubted was completely on the up and up and the, your Ten of Cups is secure. I, I, I want to set this intention for someone now. I want them to get that clarity about a marriage. But there could be a small percent of you who may find out that after that, those clouds part in a committed partnership where you could have children with someone, the Page of Cups could also be a child. 
that this person was really not on the up. Maybe they're coming back with an apology. You have free will. Okay. You have free will. You do not have to give in to somebody because they're just coming back with an apology. I don't know why they've been playing you. I feel this. And I'm just going to put this out there. But this is a committed partnership. Maybe there are children involved as well. You've doubted. If somebody is pretending to be so good, holier than thou, there's this holier than thou attitude here. We're just playing out mightily. Now, I'll take a second, okay, general message for you for love, all right? I'll use my Kipper deck. Let's see what Kipper has to tell us. Okay. It's for Aries, okay? Your second message, second general message for love. Aries, oh my God, Kipper. Okay. Oh my goodness, Aries. One more, please. I don't know why this card just. Yeah. The card of marriage. This is a marriage. What can I say? That I have somebody in a position of power. This is my mother bear energy. Somebody is very protective of someone. I don't know if, they, if this is a mother trying to protect her daughter. Because this woman is somebody who's older. You know, this could be a grandmother. Somebody who's got a lot of power in, in society. Somebody who's very well put together. She has a position of authority. This is a sign of cancer in this deck. That's the fourth house. It's about the home, about the mother. There is a lot of this mother bear energy here. Protection. Look, some of you are protected by perhaps somebody who's passed on your Aries, okay? And they, they're watching over your marriage and they're watching over your welfare. Now, I have a number 13. This, this is a rich young man. I don't know if this is the extra person in a relationship. But this is a very wealthy person. This is somebody who's very rich, wealthy man. Sakara Leo. So you have Leo as well. You have Leo and Cancer added now to the signs which are showing up. Apart from you yourself, Aries. I have Pisces. I have Virgo. Now I have Leo. And I have Cancer. Now, who is this? This is somebody who is that social climber. I don't know. If there is somebody, either they're they're stepping out because they want to climb the social ladder. This is, a, this is somebody who is a young lover. There's something, I'm so sorry, but there is something going on with three people here in a relationship. And then there I have the card of poverty. That was a number 37. This talks about somebody feeling impoverished, but I have a rich man here. I don't know why they're feeling like this. If somebody's been thrown out of their home, this almost feels like somebody's been thrown out, destitute, abandoned. Look, I don't know if this has played out in your life or it's perhaps coming towards you. If you have any of these situations playing out where somebody wants to climb a social ladder at any cost, at the cost of sacrificing the relationship, I don't know. And there's some mother interfering here. There could be somebody sleeping with their boss who's a woman. I don't know. Don't go out the sex of the cards. Somebody in position of power here and somebody who wants that power. Somebody could be doing, you know, whatever, you know, to butter somebody up. I don't know. But this poverty, I just want you to know if this energy is playing out in your life. I don't want you to be in this, okay? So I'm going to give you as many messages as I can so then when this energy starts to play out for whoever it does, you can say, oh my God, that crazy lady on YouTube told me. So I'm going to be clarifying these cards. Do not worry, but I don't want this. Some of you are feeling impoverished in a relationship, in a marriage, but you are very wealthy. Literally with money, there is no problem here. I don't know what this poverty is about. Spirit, I'm going to clarify these cards for you. Aries, let's go. What is this marriage card about, please, for Aries? What is this bondam? This older woman, this older privileged lady for Aries. Yeah, my God. What is this young rich man for Aries? Who is this? Guys, the cards, I, what do I do? I'm just going to take the one that I pulled. This is card of poverty for Aries. Please, Spirit. 
Now, with a marriage card, I have the Queen of Wands. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, just like you. Aries, Leo, Sag. This is somebody who is got a phoenix rising from the ashes. Look at all the red. I mean, she's charismatic, beautiful, passionate. You know, sexual passion, the passion to create her life. She's not scared. This is somebody who's bold. Who can be, you know, thrown down a million times and she's going to get up the 10 millionth time and continue on her path. This is somebody who's got a lot of fire and passion. This is somebody who's created her own life. And it doesn't matter how many times she's got burnt. Somebody who's very, very sexy, sexually passionate, very beautiful energy. I love this energy. With that you know, that older woman, the Cancerian sign, okay? Heartbreak. You know, this, this three number, whenever it comes out, it's always about three people. I don't know if that lady, that older woman of privilege, I mean, she's somebody who's got importance in society, has caused a heartbreak in a marriage. There is interference here, whether you want to, you know, call it a sexual interference or a motherly figure who's very protective, jealous even to a point. There has been heartbreak. Or maybe your mother has gone through that. And when this number three comes, it means that three people, there is an extra um, facet. It's not just you and yours. It's you, yours, and theirs. I don't know what this is talking about. And then with the young, rich man, wealthy man, I have the three of wands. This, I think this is somebody who has been sleeping around to gain money or power or position. I feel this. Because there's three of wands. Somebody's put a lot of passion into something and they're waiting for their ships to come in. Uh, I don't think the passion they're put in is at the office, as in, you know, on the at their work. It's somewhere else. God, I'm so sorry to say that. And they've been waiting. I don't know if they've been, you know, promised something with sexual favors. I'm so sorry. I just, I'm just telling you what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be a man again. It can be any, it can be a man or a woman. But there's somebody here who is very clear about why they're doing something. Okay. Stepping out, you know, sleeping with somebody because they want to gain some position. And this person has put a lot of work into that, whatever that is. And that one wand, they've been waiting for the results to come in. Those ships to come in. But somebody has kept them waiting as well. They've kept them waiting. You know, it's almost like that. But this person is close to walking away because you know they're wondering should i put that third one there as well but they can see the ships in that you know in the distance somebody's we kept somebody waiting here and with the card of poverty i had the king of cups now this for me is again water pisces cancer scorpio somebody who's got a lot of love there is a couple here one person is showing up as total fire passion heat sex lust you know just zest for life another person is sweet mellow kind fatherly motherly gentle the low vibration of this is clingy. The low vibration of the Queen of Wands, the fire is arrogance, ego. I don't know who this is, but somebody here is feeling like they have lost something and they're on the street. I don't know what exactly is making someone feel that, but they feel poverty. And I don't think it's with money. I don't know why. I'm going to take one more card. Okay. First, I'll take it from my Kipper deck. Spirit, I don't want to end with that poverty card. Tell you, yeah, you're going to have, you know, you're going to face some kind of poverty. In this. It's not about money, Aries. It's not. I don't know. It's it's about somebody keeping something from you and keeping you waiting as well. Spirit, what is this about for love, please? Give me one more card. There we go. Unexpected income. Thank God, after poverty, if I see this card, my heart dances with joy. This is a number 27. If this number means anything to you guys, okay. This is unexpectedly receiving money. I wonder if somebody today is going through something legal because for me, this is like a suited, booted hand giving something. You know, there is someone here who has been taking money for sexual favors. And I'm so sorry to say that. I'm just sorry. I don't want to deal with that energy. I feel that. Spirit, give me one thought for that, please. For Aries. You know, if you've had doubts, if your partner is doing something crap, crappy for money, you know, with a boss, figure, male, female, I don't know that. I'm sorry to say it's possible and they have been giving them money. 
everyone's heart for that place. My God, Page of Swords. I don't know if they're children. But the Page of Swords is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be a child, talkative, you know, million words. A yeah, sure. But there's also a new way of communicating. My goodness. Sex and money are combined here. And I think it's led to heartbreak in a marriage. Somebody thought that they were just, you know, adding money to their life by sleeping around. This is sad. What the? But this is a card of somebody stalking. It's a card of somebody delaying the truth. This is a card of somebody giving you half truths and info, half information. This is also somebody who is very intelligent, uh, who could find new ways. I don't know if somebody realized that all they had to do was, so sorry to say this, Use sex and earn money. I'm, I'm very sorry to say this. I don't know what this is talking about, but I just want to give you this message that if you've come here for a confirmation, and I know you're heartbroken today, and you have free will, whatever you want to do, Aries, if you've come here for a confirmation that is somebody that you're in love with doing something for sexual favors, and that's how they're making some money, I'm sorry to say yes. I'm sorry, but I can't sugarcoat this. Okay, I cannot force a message out now. What we're going to do is I'm going to take some cards from my situation tarot deck for you. This is your third message for love. Let's see what spirit has to add. Okay. Aries. 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 Okay. Love. Love box. Some of you feel trapped. Frustrated. It's because someone got caught. You found receipts. Somebody found something out and they feel trapped. Look, I'm not getting the energy of somebody feeling mentally trapped here. So what I should do? No, they know what they're doing is wrong. I'm so sorry to say that. It's caught someone here. And I, how else am I going to slice this? Tell me. You caught somebody and they're trapped now. You have free will, Aries. I, and I know you're angry because that mother bear energy and that older woman, there's somebody who's hella mad here and protective of their children, maybe, of their, um, what is that called? Their, um, not not status, their, uh, how they're, you know, they're not, what, how, how people look upon them in the world? What is that word? I forget. You know, how they're viewed? You're trapped. And you trap somebody. This is coming towards you. An interview. You could be meeting your soulmate very soon, Aries. Talk, conversation, get on the same page. Similar friendship. Romantic part. Now, I wanted to focus on that. <clears throat> Just want to have a sip of water. One second. Okay, now I'm going to take some messages from the person who ghosted you. Let's see what they want to tell you. <laughs> Aries. Oops. Thank you. I replay our conversations over and over. We need to let each other go. You are the best thing in my life. I love you. Wow. I'm going to end this reading with some angel answers for you, Aries. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. I want to hear from you. Aries. 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 Ask for help from others. Listen to your intuition, Pisces. Within the next few weeks, my timing card. Big, happy changes. This is that bountiful harvest card that came out first. Aries, these were your love messages. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. Share this video. Like it. Subscribe if you wish.
comment below. Cannot wait to come back to another reading for you. Until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. Namaste. Bye.